Hi guys, we are in a conversation with Selo. Uh, hopefully a few people will be able to join us and come back. We've been having this conversation for an hour. <laughs> and this conversation just flies. Um, so yes, I can see. Uh, hi, Mana. So we having, hi, Tiboho. We're having this conversation with Selo. Selo, will you join us again? It's such an interesting conversation and it's it's very nice, you know, for some of us who advocate. Here you are, you're back. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we uh, were talking. We were talking. Yes. Hey, people from Norway. I can see some other Mozambicans and family joining. Oh, so we've great, been great. in more than an hour in a conversation with with Celo, and um, we're gonna try and wrap it out in a few minutes because of time constraints. But mm -hmm. it's really been very interesting. You you have challenged us just to go briefly. You've challenged us, and you've said that you know the 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 gender based violence issue is really genocidal right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you have also said that it's um, social and um, oh my gosh, me and my reading, sorry, I mm -hmm. we want to function anyway. It's mm -hmm. the social and the psychological revolution that we have to deal with. Mm -hmm. You've talked about love as an issue. It's really about caring in action. And yes. you have, you know, um, highlighted and brought about the example of how men care for their cars. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. that, was quite, that was quite an expression. And mm -hmm. then, of course, you've, you've told us um, again and again how... Um, the issue of violence is about men and insecurity. And those are the kind mm -hmm. of issues we, we have kind of discussed. We were now talking about leadership um, mm -hmm. and what our leaders are all about and what is leadership mm -hmm. in communities, right? Leadership yes. in communities in these kind of examples. And we have mm -hmm. also talked about men as abusers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and how we... How we handle that? <laughs> you know, we, we really need to, yeah, you know, you know, just, you know, one of the things that we really need to confront, and that is why I say, uh, and I was saying earlier on that, you know, somehow even our leadership has have not gone into a, an introspective process. And when you introspect, you actually put a light on your own behavior. Here's something that, uh, forms character, you know, being, you know, and that now also, you know, I think it will lead me to even to speak about the movement that we just started now called Act Now. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And I, I you know, for me, because I'm also, I'm in the acting uh, uh, space, you know, here's something that has, you know, in order, Shakespeare says, all the world's a stage and all of us are players making their exits and exits. You know what I mean? So basically, we, this is just, we, you know, we are always acting, whether we like it or not. And everybody is an actor in their own roles. And we all have character, you know, our own characters. And but here's something that sometimes, you know, like sometimes some actors, they will be saying, you know, when I get into character, which I, which I think it is just absolute nonsense. There's no getting into character. Character is defined by actions. At the present moment, you are an interviewer. What is defining you as an interviewer? It is the actions that you are executing of what an interviewer does. Yeah. If you are an abuser, you can't be, be loving and be called an abuser and saying, baby, I love you, and you bring flowers and you showering with you know, sweet words and baby, what can I do for you? And somebody says you are being abusive. You know what I mean? And you'll be defined as a loving man. You know, he always cares. He always does this. And what makes you to be a loving man are the actions that you are doing. If you are a car thief, you can't be preaching in church and somebody says you are a car thief. In order to be a car thief, you have to be seen performing the acts of a car thief. 
you can't be called a pre, uh, you know that you are a, you know preaching and be called that you are a you know in order to be a preacher you're going to open up the verse read it interpret it and uh, you know go lyrical on it and almighty father almighty jesus and you know everybody will even just say this man is a preacher so act, you know character is defined by actions and somebody wrote that you know the impact that that there is a impact there is a yoruba uh, uh, proverb which says watch as your thought watch your thoughts as they become words watch your words as they become actions mm. watch your actions mm. as they become habits Absolutely. and watch your habits yes. as they define your character and watch your character as it determines your destiny you know i think that is um i've heard that quote as if it was a gandhi quote yeah but apparently it's, well you know well i i know yeah but is that an but African the thing quote? is apparently it's, an, it's a yoruba, yoruba proverb where i have read it yeah yoruba uh, proverb you know but the thing yeah. is in order for us to change from where we are we have to start re rewriting the script you know every time in our lives we go through experiences and then from there i mean what is i mean from there we start rewriting you know i mean talk about victims uh, uh, so, uh, victim uh, p- uh, people who have survived uh, abuse you know there are times when a person will be caught up in the the, the victim mode but there comes a yeah. time when he, the person decides that i've got to rewrite I, my own script I've done, and begin I've done to think in a, in a, in a, yeah and begin to think in a different way and as they start to think in a different way they begin to form their thoughts in words as their thoughts are formed in words they are allowed they are allowing themselves to now do certain actions if they were silent about it then they begin to speak about it and as they begin to speak about it then the whole thing becomes even a habitual thing that they do and basically as they you know it becomes habitual then it begins to redefine now their character you know they are no longer even just victims they are becoming survivors and that in itself be, yeah. you know I, i'm actually speaking of yourself here you know what i mean and many others you know yeah. who have you know gone through the process and i, I think that, that this is just one thing this is just one thing that i think even as black men as much as and and the other thing is that we have to accept that perhaps even 99% of us men we are guilty of abuse yes and that is so why. how does so how does that script then works for an abuser because you know what um i'm, yes. I'm going to be tempted to define an abuser not yes. as a person that has an abusive incident once ah, hallelujah but but i would want to define an abuser as a person that has a violent let's say a violent incident and it can be physical or 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 emotional, emotional. or verbal right yes mm-hmm. but then the script continues because if you are if you are an abuser right and this is something that just happened as you said it can happen on instinct right yeah mm-hmm. why do you continue on the script one thing that we have to uh, observe of ourselves is that we are habitual creatures but what does it some... get out of you as a, as a person no, why no 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 yeah allow Sorry. allow me allow me mm. to say as human beings we are habitual creatures we are prone to addiction and all kinds of addiction you can be addicted to sugar you can be addicted to alcohol you can be addicted yeah. and all these things all these things start with one action the abuser starts with one clap and they also i think as much we would like there is also a thrill that comes out of it and we are all as human beings thrill driven we are adrenaline driven and somehow no you know how t- no matter how twisted this is somehow this pe- people begin to gain an excitement out of 
you know, and we've got to look at these things in that particular way. Not, not even try to just condemn them. As human beings, we are habitual. One clap leads to two, two leads to three, three leads yeah. to, you, 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 you see what I mean? It leads to kicks, it leads to what? And because, and one thing that I've always asked when we've had conversations with yeah. men, I would ask them this question. Does it have, hasn't it happened to you? I mean, even for instance, with just a kiss, when you kiss for the first time, the very first kiss in your life, kissing a boy. Yeah. You know, you actually get a fright, don't you? Yeah. Your heart pounds. Yeah. So somehow you know, but after that, the thrill is going to get you, you know, and then now you want to do it again. It's going to be one kiss. It's going to lead to one more and more and more and more and more. That's one thing that we've got to recognize of ourselves, that we are habitual creatures. But we, that is why it says, mind your words. So which means choose the words that you want to, uh, the thoughts that you want to put out in words. A house, ma, is built out of bricks and a thousand of, thousands of bricks. A character is built out of thoughts and thousands of thoughts. You know, and if we begin to, be, you know, to look at things in that way, that whichever way, you can choose, you know, start thinking that you want to be a good person. It is going to depend on how many good thoughts you build on and that you turn into those words and that those words you turn into actions and those actions you turn into habits. Do, 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 do you see where I'm, where, where, where I'm going? Yeah. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it is like even when you have to rehabilitate yourself from drugs, you know what I mean? You've got to begin to what? To rewrite the script. You've got to look at what are the associations that actually drives you maybe even to relapse. Because even some men who wants to basically re, you know, rehabilitate themselves from uh, being, being abusive, they yeah. sometimes relapse because they haven't really basically like taken control of their own faculties. And you know, one of the things that, uh, if I may add this one uh, thing, you know, because sometimes even, you know, with this whole scourge of gender-based violence of men beating up their women. And the sad part is that we are so busy trying to create shelters for women. Yeah. You know, and somehow even the reality with this thing is that even when a woman goes to the police station and lays a case, there's, I, I think, I don't know if, the, if I'm right here, that there is a, you know, now women cannot withdraw the cases. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah. Um, legally, now what happens is that most of these crimes are becoming public crimes. So once you okay. laid it out, the state takes it over. The taste, exactly. Yeah. So that is a good one. But you know, one of the things that I feel is that instead of creating shelters for women, if a man performs or, you know, is, is found to or charged with a, a, you know, beating up his wife, he should be the one that goes out of the house. Amen. You know, and yes. leave the wife and the children yes. or the woman and the children in the house. Yeah. And, yes. and the thing is now, again, and these are some of the things that we are professing with Act yes. Now movement, that, you know, the police thing, uh, the, the police, the, we need police reform. We need constitutional reform. And we Absolutely. need the, the building of the family unit, you know, building the family nucleus and begin to have open discussions between men and women. And as men, you know, as the Act Now movement, we are looking forward to even when we organize these dialogues. Maybe even, you know, some of the dialogues, men have just got to, you know, sit back and listen to women speak and open ourselves up to that. So the dialogues and the movement that you are leading is also yes. based on the issue of the confession spaces. That even the confession spaces, that, that is one of the projects that, you know, we will actually work on. Because, hey, man, we are guilty of this, my daughter. You know, men, we are hey, guilty of this. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, 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 and basically, <laughs> you, know, you, know, <laughs> you know, men, we have to just realize that, you know what, let's just take a step back and introspect, self-analyze, and know that we are, it, we, it is incumbent on us to set a foundation for the next generation. We have to set, put the templates and the tools for the young generation 
to use in actually being the better men than we that we are you know and also even begin to have intergenerational conversations between men you yes. know where now you know the people like for instance even um, you know like you know that thing, you know Kaifa Semenya who's already yes. in his 80s you know yes. and even Tebuhole Rule who you know who started this movement you know by just piling all our names without even our consent in a in a, in a, in a WhatsApp group and basically and it makes a difference you know and 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 then we started you know opening up to a conversation that led now even to the organization of the of the march that we took the past sunday you know yes. and basically that just shows that we are consent men basically as much as you know we have been activists or whatever we are just consent men and i don't want my boys and i've got two granddaughters who i need to make a better world for them you know and men we also have got to start rewriting the script and reconstructing ourselves to become the better selves better versions of ourselves you know and that is possible we have to you know work on our minds but the well, bible says be you not conformed to the world but be ye transformed to the renewal of your mind you know what i mean and men we've got to renew our mind and i think we've got to get like i say we have to forgive ourselves for what we have done and ask for forgiveness for what we have done because the truth of the matter is we never knew any better we didn't know any better but let us open ourselves up to knowing what to do to be better and these are conversations that we really need to have thank you sir thank you ma'am i think we 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 as um a kutluka movement and a movement that um is about the healing and rehabilitation of women who have been abused yes. um prime for conversations open conversations with men yes. because our healing needs to be holistic our Absolutely. healing needs to be it needs to be whole and yeah. in that we need to have really very frank conversations about yeah. men's pain yeah and of course women's pain yeah and and the and the pain that men are inflicting on women and yeah. pain that men are inflicting on our society and perpetuating yeah. in our yeah. society so i i honor you and i thank you so much for having been first the first man to be in our naked conversations thank you ma'am but i honor you for having been open about your own journey mm -hmm and opening yourself to other men to coming to your journey learn from your journey and from the journey of other men because yeah. abuse is learned yeah and and i hope that abuse can be unlearned as our pain as well is learned yeah. and we yeah. can perhaps unlearn the pain and of course our you know just gear our children to be to be whole to be trusting to be complete yeah. and to not fear men hey i used to love men i'm not sure about that but anyway we'll talk about that and 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 and, 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 and the thing about it um, josina is that <laughs> once we as men begin to find our own essence and our own humanity You know in the play that I told you about that we that I did with young men from Alexander it yes. ends with two lines because it is sent you know uh, it's called coming coming is a sort yes. word that means going to uh, to the mountains which deals with the rite of passage yes. you know uh, when young men go to the you know for initiation and Absolutely. then I used we use that as a metaphor for a psychological initiation so the Ooh. last two lines of the play says today 
we have removed the foreskin of the mind. Hmm. Today we have discovered that we are human beings first and men after. And here's the trap that sometimes we find ourselves falling into. That yeah. we, we go, you know, as men, you know, you know, as men, I, I mean, as a man, I think, you know, as a man, basically, and as a, you know, as men, we, you know, and we, you know, we push that man thing. And here's one thing that we forget that before you are a man, you are a human being first. And Ubuntu, humaneness has no gender. You know, and women are beginning to fall in the in the trap of say, you know, as women, as a as a woman, as women, Absolutely. as women, this, and then here you do, you you fall into that trap that you define yourself by your gender instead of defining yourself as a human being, and we have to define ourselves as human beings first and begin to treat each other as human beings. Hello. Hello, 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 Magika. Madam, Madam Josie. <laughs> We're going to have so many of these conversations, but most we, better, um, we have to take this movement to our beloved continent. We have to expand. And we need Absolutely. to make sure that men take the honorable space and women take the honorable space and we can be humans. Thank and you. Let's form, and let's form the Africa Healing Circle. Amen. It is done. Hallelujah. So it is in word. It is done in yes. action. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank so you, Joseph. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ciao. Thank you. Ciao. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.